Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can reconnect an ejected USB drive on Windows 10 without physically removing and connecting it again. Now this method has limitations. Specifically, this is only going to work if you have a laptop with a touchpad on it or if you have a laptop with a touchscreen. So first things first, you need to connect the USB drive and then eject it from Windows 10. Do not physically remove the drive from your system. Next, you need to open Device Manager, and here you have to go to the View item and select Devices by Connection. This is going to change how the devices are shown under Device Manager, and here you need to look for your drive. It's going to have a yellow exclamation icon on it. Find the device that it's connected to. On my system, my device was connected to the PC via the USB Root Hub device. On your system, it could be something different. You might have to do a little trial and error to get it right. Right click the device and then select disable device from the context menu. If the disable option isn't there, you're going to have to select the uninstall device option. So once the device has been disabled or uninstalled, all the other devices that are connected to your system via a USB port are probably going to stop working. And this is why this only works on a laptop with a touchpad or a touchscreen. You now need to interact with your system. So use either the trackpad or the touchscreen and again in device manager, right click the device that you uninstalled. From the menu, select Scan for Hardware Changes. It's going to scan for hardware changes and it is automatically going to connect all the USB devices to your system. This includes the mouse, the keyboard, and of course the drive that you ejected before. This isn't exactly the simplest or most intuitive method, so use this sparingly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.